Hey everyone, we're going to sketch this graph and plot all extrema, points of inflection, uh, find any asymptotes. We don't have any asymptotes because this is a polynomial. We aren't dividing. There's no rationals here. So um, the first thing I want to do is, before we get started is kind of look at the end behavior. So I'm going to rewrite this quickly. Um, our degree here is 4. And so the power function would be so let y equals 16x to the fourth. And if you and if you graph that, um, you should know to the fourth power it kind of looks like this. It's flat in here, and it shoots up. However, ours is negative, so it's going to uh, be reflected over the x-axis. So it's really going to look like that. I also know that my degree is 4, so my turning points, your turning point is n minus 1. Since we have x to the 4th as my degree of it, it's going to be 4 minus, one, uh, 4 minus 1. So that's at 3, at most, 3 turning points. So we're looking at something when we're graphing it where we're starting down in here maybe. And we could have three turning points, so it could be something like this. One, two, let's see, let me try again. Uh, so we start here. It's one, two, um, three, and back down. Something like that. Or it could be more chaotic and goes up higher, something like that. So just know the graph's going to kind of look like that. Um, now let's go ahead and find our x and y intercepts. So we have again y equals 8x squared minus 16x to the fourth. So for our y intercept, that's when x is 0, and we just get y. So that's both your y and x. Anytime you have 0, 0, it's both x and y intercepts. All right, now let's look for the x-intercepts by letting y equal 0, which we already have 1 here. So let's look at that. Factor out uh, 8x squared. That's going to give you 1 minus 2x squared. And if we set this piece to equal 0, we get 0 again. So we already got that part. So let's do this one. Set this to 0, and you're going to get 1 equals 2x squared. So 1 half equals x squared. So x equals plus or minus 1 over square root of 2. And that is what we're going to write. So we have uh, plus or minus 1 over square root of 2, comma, 0. Um, that's also, I'm going to go ahead and put that as plus or minus a point, approximately 0 0.71. That's going to help us with graphing. So it's almost 3 fourths. Um, now let's go ahead and take the second derivative. I'm going to do that in here a little bit. Uh, the second derivative is y prime. And I have it here, so that's going to be 16x minus 64x cubed. And we're going to factor that. So y prime equals 16x minus 64x cubed. And find our critical values. So uh, we set uh, our derivative to 0. Factor out a 16x. And you're going to get an x minus 4 um, not an x, but a 1. Sorry about that. I do that every time. Minus 4x squared. Alright. So, if I set this piece to 0, we get 0. So, I'll just put x equals 0. And I'll set this piece to 0. We're going to get 1 equals 4x squared. And so... Um, one fourth equals x squared. We square root both sides. You're going to get x is plus and minus one half. 
Now to get our uh, y component uh, to our critical points, we're just going to plug in back to the original equation. So our original equation was y equals 8x squared minus 16x to the fourth. If I plug in 0, I get 0, 0, so there's that one. Now we've got to plug in 1 half, so we're going to say 8 to find our y's. 1 half squared minus 16 is 1 half to the fourth. And that's going to equal uh, 2 minus 1, which equals 1. So at 0, when, y, when x is 1 half, we get 1. And let's try negative 1 half. If I just put a negative in here, we still get 1, because these are even uh, powers. So there we go with our critical points, 1, 2, and 3. Now we're going to take the second derivative to find the any points of inflection. So the second derivative, I'll just do y double prime, is going to equal 16 minus 192x squared, and set this to 0, and you're going to get, factor out of 16, we get 1 minus 12x squared. So when you set this to 0, you're going to get 1 equals 12x squared. So 1 twelfth equals x squared. So square root this both sides. And you get x equals plus or minus 1 over square root of 12. Now, plug this back into the original equation and when you do that you're going to get um, so we're going to back to the original equation you plug in 1 over square root of 9 I already did this and you're going to get 5 ninths you only really have to do it once because we have uh, uh, even powers and then 1 over square root of nine, uh, 12 gives you also 5 ninths so these are your inflection points. Now we have to determine whether the points are maximum or minimum. So what you're going to do is use your original pro, uh, originals. So our original x's critical points were 0 and plus or minus 1 half. Now we're going to plug that into our second derivative here. Or we can just plug it in there. So if we plug in f of... 1 half, we're going to get 16 minus 192 times 1 half squared, and that's going to give us um, uh, a maximum. So therefore, it's um, uh, since this is going to be um, this is going to be as 16 minus 48. And all you have to determine is that it's negative. So that means if it's negative there, that means it's a maximum and it concaves down. Now, plug in the negative one half. If you plug in the negative one half, you're going to get the same thing. So negative one half is also a max and it concaves down concaves, can't spell, down, because it's negative. All right, and so basically let's go ahead and um, plot this. So I have my x-intercepts, which are here, here, and let's see, right about... This is one, so it's going to be um, close to here, so it's back in here. And then, so I'll go ahead and graph that a little bit. And coming in down in here. Now, uh, I know that this point here is a minimum, 
So it's going to go up in here. And then our inflection points are right here. So they're right about here. So this is going to be a concave down. Then it concaves back up. And then again it concaves back up then it concaves downward. So there's your graph. It looks like that. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.